2 and 3 update. Today we have a very special show as we'll be delving into the cars and content for both Series um, 2 and You may have noticed three. On, the, on the table in front of us there is our holiday calendar. Doors 1 through 4 already opened. That is the cars that were revealed on the Forza Monthly a little earlier. But we and what makes them so special? Um, so we'll start with number one. What have we got first? So this is the Ferrari J50. So this is uh, available on Thursday. Um, the J50 is a, it's a very rare um, limited edition run uh, car to celebrate 50 years of uh, Ferrari in Japan. So it's based on the 488, uh, which is the kind of the, the mid-engine V8 supercar, um, but with completely custom bodywork on it. Um, and it's a very, very pretty car. I, I really appreciate the black line that kind of runs around the front bumper and up the side, mm. which is harking back to the uh, F40 and F50, which both featured that. And the rear end is actually quite a uh, SF90 Stradale. Uh, and yeah, the bodywork also uh, improves the aerodynamics. So it's a little bit faster uh, around the corners than the 488. And right. yeah, really cool car. Yeah, so like that's that. the J50. Great. Aesthetically pleasing. All right, so that's the uh, that's the J50. Now, uh, what's the second car we've got here on the run-ins? So the second car, it's another Ferrari. It's the SP2 Monza, Ooh. which is loading now. Here we go. Two Ferraris, OK. <laughs> so it's, a, a it's of another open-top Ferrari, this Ooh. one, with no windscreen. Yeah, so nice. this is... So there's two, there's two versions of the Monza. There's the SP1 and the SP2. Uh, it refers to how many seats it has, basically. So we've got the SP2. There's two seats, so you can take someone for a ride. Uh, with the SP1, there is no passenger seat. Weighs a little bit less because of it. Uh, okay. But yeah, it's just nice to share things like this with friends. So I'd go two-seater personally. Yeah. How about we'll that? We'll go for a lonely drive. Hot, <laughs> hot red leather seats as well. Oh, yeah, and it really pops against <laughs> the, the, the bodywork as well. Um, yeah. So this is based on the 812 Superfast. Uh, probably one of the best car names ever. Um, and it, 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 like the J50, uh, harks back to previous Ferraris. So in this case, it's the kind of the 166 MM Barchetta, with Barchetta meaning little boat. Um, and it's that kind of um, speedboat kind of look to it, very long and elegant. Uh, and in this case, it's, it's got the, the awesome 6.5 litre V12 that's in the super fast. Um, and as, as it's heavily based on a super fast, that's kind of got all the performance and handling from that, but with this absolutely stunning body on it. All right. Okay. So that's the, what is it? The Ferrari Monza, did you say? That's the SP2 Monza, yeah. That's the SP2 Monza. Right. There you go. It looks uh, another Batmobile like car. Um, so <laughs> let's look at the third car then in the Car Pass update this month. Uh, what have we got next? Is that another Ferrari? So, <laughs> up next? No, it's, uh, well, it's still. Uh, Still, still in the, in Italy, but we're we're moving to Lamborghini okay. next. Um, okay. This is so cool. this is really cool. We were chatting about this car earlier. So this is the Lamborghini Espada. Uh, specifically, we have the Series Three version, which is the last one. They only made 450 of these. So, you know, we talk about rare cars nowadays, like limited runs of uh, modern Ferraris, McLarens, etc., being 500 cars normally. They only actually made 450 of these. So it's a very rare car. Um, it was designed by the same person that did the Lamborghini Miura and the oh, no. <laughs> uh, Lamborghini Miura and the Lamborghini Countach. Uh, in fact, uh, the original concepts for this car um, it was actually built off two two completely different concepts. One of them had gold wing doors, but uh, Lamborghini didn't want to do that for this car. So instead, uh, the, the gold wings or what is now known as the scissor doors uh, ended up on the Countach. Uh, this car is actually a, a four seater, so two plus two. Um, and it's got the same engine that was in the Miura up front, so it's the, the V12 from the Miura. And yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's kind of got that, um, that lower glass bit as well, hasn't it, on the boot? So we yeah, we can't quite see it in this light, yeah. Um, yeah, kind of unusual. Yeah, because it was originally going to be mid engined as well, which is why it has this very long back on it, uh, but they couldn't quite mm. get the leg room uh, for the back seats. So that's the, that's the Lamborghini Espada. It looks like it drives like a tank. Um, what's the uh, fourth car we've got here then? So oh, the then final car, car we've got car. is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. Ooh, okay. Let's so this is, uh, you can, I suppose you could call this the Series 2 or the second generation of the Huracan. Um, this takes all of the learnings from the Performante, which was the, the very track-focused Huracan. Um, it, 
get, take, uh, takes away the, the aerodynamic stuff, so it looks more like a normal Huracan, but underneath it's got the same powertrain, um, mm. same suspension, and also it also has the rear wheel steering from the Huracan uh, Performante as well. So it's, it's really, yeah, it is a genuine evolution on the car. Um, still got that glorious sounding V10, but uh, much faster, much better handling. We have a further 20 cars, 20 cars to reveal on this show. Um, should we jump in? Yeah, let's Tom, do it. What's behind door number five? I'm told that we need a car for the getting hyped uh, seasonal championship, so. Okay, we have got uh, the Lamborghini Aventador J. Whoa. All right, shall we, shall we take a look at it? Yeah, let's do it. Talk to us, Chris. So this was a really early kind of low production run uh, Aventador. So underneath, obviously, an Aventador with the roof taken off and just this amazing cockpit where there is no roof. You can't put any roof on it at all. It's kind of very segmented between the two. You've got the mirror kind of sticking up. So it's, it's an Aventador, so it does all Aventador kind of things, but with the wind in your hair, it's a absolutely beautiful machine, this. Another, another Lamborghini with a little bit of glass, Tom. You're probably a fan of that. <laughs> Uh, it's in the wrong place for me. For a little piece of glass needs to be in a very specific place. But um, yeah, I mean that—that that <laughs> it's, it, it's not doing a lot, is it? I, I do love that rear view mirror, though. Yeah. Just on a on a stalk, it's like I've got to have one somewhere. It's kind of rules. <laughs> <so it's laughs> All right, so as, as, I, as I called out, this is available in the Getting Hyped Seasonal Championship in autumn. Um, should we take a look at what's behind door number six? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Number six. Uh, so this will be Series 2 Winter, and get 25 points in the Festival playlist, and you will get... The Ferrari 599 GTO. Sweet. There we go. Talk so to Chris. This is a, another... Um, kind of GT touring style uh, uh, Ferrari, so 599 GTO, GTO meaning Grand Touring Homologato or Homologated. Interestingly, this car wasn't actually homologated from a race, uh, for a race car, so homologation normally means it's the road version of a race car. In this case, it just kind of signifies it's the track only version, or sorry, track version of the 599. Obviously, there's the, the 599XX and XX Evolution as well, which were the track kind of race cars of this. Uh, so this, again, it's a beautiful Italian Ferrari V12, um, absolutely perfect for sailing across the continent, uh, all going on track. And I love the little uh, like buttresses on the back of it. If I get the camera angle just right, you can see through it. And that was to help air sweep around onto the tiny little kind of duck spoiler there, duck, duck little spoiler, if, if you will, uh, to improve aerodynamics. Super stylish with the, the black horse on the rear as well. Nice, very nice touch. And as we said, this car is unlocked in winter. Uh, earned 25 points on Festival Playlist, and you can get yourself the Ferrari 599 GTO. Shall we take a look at what's behind door number seven? Uh. This one will be in summer. Earned 45 points in summer will get you uh, the Maserati 8 CTF. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely love this one. Go on, Chris. Talk to us. Yeah, so this is this is back from that era. It, it, kind of Formula One, but it was before Formula One was called Formula One. Um, it was just these kind of cigar-shaped cars that weigh absolutely nothing that had bonkers engines in them. So, I mean, these days you say four or 500 horsepower and you think, oh, yeah, it's pretty good. I think, you know, an M5 has that kind of numbers, actually more. Uh, but back then, in a car like this, that, that was just astonishing numbers. These things were absolute rocket ships driven by people that, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know if you can call them humans, they're a different species. <laughs> they were definitely built it, different. A lot of bravery. Um, so yeah, absolutely beautiful machine. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They'll buff right out of that. Yeah. Um, nice well, little details. Probably worth about 10 million in real life. Oh yeah, Just yeah. stacked it into a truck. Nice. <laughs> like one of one car, yeah. just. Straight into the back of the truck. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, nice little touches like the leather around the steering wheel just to give a bit more grip. Yeah, sounds absolutely amazing as well. Yeah. Lamborghini Aventador oh. SVJ, which Chris has not got into. I skipped uh, ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm failing a bit here. Even Chris doesn't know what's in the calendar. So. Here we go. Okay. 
Absolute stunner. Yeah, so it's another Aventador, it's the SVJ, so Super Veloce uh, Jota, which uh, it's actually, it, it refers to it being a race version. Um, this one isn't actually a race car, but Lamborghini have used Jota through the years to signify their, their race versions of cars. Uh, really nerdy fact for you, it comes from the FIA Appendix J um, for you have to build a road car uh, of the race car, so some holligation thing again. So that's why they use J. Uh, in this case, this is the, the fastest Lamborghini uh, they've built so far. Uh, went around the Nürburgring in 6 minutes 44, which is absolutely mind-blowingly fast. So more downforce than the normal SV. Um, still has things like the rear wheel steering. Um, yeah, bl blisteringly fast car, this. And new to Forza as well. It is new to Forza, yeah. And you can get your hands on this by earning 200 points across Series 2. That'd be one of your overall Series awards for 200 points. Shall we go back to take a look at the, um, the Winter Wonderland? Horizon Wonderland. Horizon Wonderland, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I've, I've, I've ruined everything now. Yeah. Good, good, jo good job it's not live. Um, <laughs> Anna, do you want to tell us about this? Uh, so, yeah, we have uh, it was a Horizon Wonderland build uh, in the Mulehe. As you can see, the world kind of evolves to reflect what's happening in the real world. Uh, and it's not only Mulehe that uh, kind of got decorated with the uh, holiday trees and the candy cones and also the Buena Hato and Playa Azul, uh, where you can go smashing the presents and the candy cones. We also have new collectibles, uh, the snowmen and the pile of presents uh, that will appear in uh, storm and dry seasons. Um, so you can get to yourself some extra for at some point uh, by smashing them. Cool. Should we look at the accolades as well? Sure, let's go. Um, do you want to get this one, Anna? This time we're looking for a, a reward car for the New Beginnings Seasonal Championship in so spring. So this one is a Ferrari 575M Maranello. Here we go. So the 575 was kind of uh, an evolution on the, the 550, um, and the M stands for Modificar. Um, it was a, a faster version uh, of the 550. And so this, the, the 550, I should also say, came before the 599, uh, which we saw earlier as well. So it's the kind of same, same family. So it's the, the big GT V12 Ferrari that's brilliant for screaming across the continent. In. Awesome. Um, yes, and this one is unlocked in the New Beginnings Seasonal Championship in spring. Shall we open another door? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, door number 10. Door number 10. Okay, what have we got in here? It's a long one. Lamborghini Gallardo LP574 Spider Performante. There it is! <coughs> Looking is absolutely magic? awesome. Yeah. So, the, the long name, if we uh, translate that to, it's the fastest version of the Gallardo, but you can put the roof down. So that's what spider means. And as we have convertibles, if I stop the car, we can put the roof on, which is Amazing. rather gorgeous. Oh, I can see the, the Italian uh, like iconography, the Italian colours, or the flag colours on the back there as well. Yeah, Lamborghini love to uh, put the trickle lorry uh, wherever they can on a car and I think it is very fitting. Very cool. Especially in this gorgeous pearlescent white. Do you want to jump over to the stadium, Chris? Yeah. What, what better car to explore our newly oh, evolved yeah. stadium? I build it up. Okay, we go. so we're going to have the ice ring, and uh, it's uh, absolutely perfect for drifting. Uh, your car just like slides around. We place a bunch of smashables. There is like a hockey, um, kind of like a stadium area. Uh, so I think it's going to be a great place for players to hang out. We also have accolades. I just saw one pop this, then, yeah. yeah. We have accolades for discovering it and doing drift skills here. It looks like you don't have much choice but to do drift skills. Yeah, here. exactly. <laughs> but I mean, very easy win. <laughs> and in the middle is the, the hockey, hockey pitch as well, do you know? Uh, yeah, there is a uh, hockey pitch. Um, some tomfoolery that can go on in there. <laughs> it's very tricky to get past all of those barriers to get into there. I should have gone the other way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's a sliding journey. Um, 
Yeah, here we go. Uh, so cool. Your car is basically the hockey puck at this yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can play with the cars, basically. Not the best, uh, best car to bring on here. No, I wish I put some snow tires on it. Uh, we'd, <laughs> we'd do a bit better. It's all-wheel drive, though. Yeah. Let's uh, look at those uh, awesome drift skills. Yeah. Yeah. Coming. It is. <laughs> the feel is back. Seamless. <laughs> <laughs> So along with the uh, holiday decorations, the, uh, the festive market, there is another feature as well, isn't there, Anna? Shall we...? Uh... <coughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to uh, pass me so I can showcase? Uh, so you know the holiday is kind of like very um, benevolent and uh, generous feel to it. So we decided to reward everyone for uh, giving gifts. And we are running an event called Horizon Secret Santa. So uh, in this event, it's kind of like global. So all of your gifts sent through Give Drop and for this on shop, which is a new thing, uh, will contribute to this uh, global bar. And when you guys as a community uh, reach the 50% and 100% mark of the um, total number, uh, on the 50%, you'll receive the Santa outfit to kind of meet the theme and then on the hundred percent it's a mystery car so go send your gifts to find out what it is uh, and uh, obviously the event haven't, hasn't started yet so we did some dev magic and uh, made this slight recording of how it actually works in the game of course we have a video okay yes so uh, we start with a player who actually sends the gift. You drive to Horizon Wonderland, or you can access the show from any other place where you usually do. Uh, and while the event is running, every car in the shop can be sent to a random player, like the gift drop, or to your friend. Um, and when you select to send a car as a gift, uh, you can select uh, out of five of your friends. If you don't ha like the list, you can go back and like refresh it so you can pick the person you want to send it to. Um, and then uh, we're going to see the receiving end of it. Uh, so imagine this is your friend. Uh, they receive a notification to drive to Horizon Wonderland. Uh, and as they arrive there, there is a big box waiting for them. When they smash it, the car gets added to their garage and uh, they know exactly who sent it to them as well. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? No, no one knows. Um, I, I guess you just have to play the game. I guess I have to find out. Yeah. So, um, PLP 50 Chris, um, what one of the, the rarest cars out there, really, isn't it? Um, in the original production run, um, about 50 made, of which about half of them still exist, of which one of them is right here, <laughs> um, as Dave has been enjoying it all day. <laughs> he's, he's been doing all these teams meetings from there. From there. <laughs> I've been working from the field today. <laughs> Good view there, Dave. Dave's <laughs> Oh my. It's the Peel Trident. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, so this, this uh, rounds out our Series 2 cars. Uh, the Appeal Trident, how do you get this one? Uh, so second reward car in spring, so 45 points in spring, gets you the Appeal Trident. And isn't it just adorable? It is. It, I think it was, it was Car Pass on Horizon 4, was it? Yes, I, feel like it was. I think it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so cool. It's like um, yeah, the futuristic cousin of um, the P50. Jump into series three. Okay. There are still many doors to open. Uh, Tom, do you mm. want to yeah. crack open door number 13? Uh, Unlo unlucky for yeah. some, but not for us, because it's the... Uh, it's, uh, what is it, Tom? What is it? What did the reindeer say when... Uh, no, uh, Aldi TTRS. <laughs> Here we go. Go on, Chris. So, this is the third gen uh, Audi TT RS, so RS being the quickest one. Um, in this case, it, it, it honestly blows my mind that um, road cars have got to this point. 400 horsepower, so it's good for 60 in about just over four seconds. Um, and it's also got that incredible two and a half litre, five cylinder Audi engine that sounds like, uh, sounds like a rally car. It's 
probably one of the best sounding engines you can get in a car like this, I think. I love it. But yeah, uh, a very cool, very fast Audi. Yeah, first time I had a new Audi in a while as well. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, is this car pass car? It is car pass car, yeah. So series 3, week 4 uh, car pass. You get yourself the Audi TT RS. Yeah, which I think is like end of January, beginning of February, roughly around then. Week 4 of Series 3 is. Another door. Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah sure. oh, let, let's, let's carry on. Yeah, sorry. I was, I was enjoying the car. I was oh, sorry. It was like really quite a nice, sporty interior. Um, door number 14, please, Tom. I'm uh, not supposed to put these. Door number 14 is. Uh, Toyota Hilux Arctic Trucks AT38. So, I think a lot of people know this. Uh, Top Gear heavily used these. Um, they did their very famous expedition to try and drive to the North Pole um, in one of these, and then uh, to tie it into to Mexico. James May also took one of these up to the top of a volcano to try and uh, get some lava. So. <laughs> Get some lava. Get some lava, get some lava yeah. Like get some that, that casual thing you do. That's <laughs> you know, just, just a Sunday afternoon drive up a volcano to get some lava. Now, Chris, do I have to have seen the other 37 trucks to enjoy this one? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> um, what's, what's in the boxes, Chris? Uh, all the things you'd need to go up a volcano and not die. Uh, no, like, you'd... like the volcanologist suit that you'd get from the expedition. <laughs> yeah. <definitely. laughs> Um, Highly flammable material, it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> In reality, it's all the things you'd need to dig yourself out. Uh, so these, these are, as the name suggests, built for Arctic conditions. So the big tyres on it are actually to, to spread the weight of the car out so it kind of floats over the, the, the snow. Um, also, interesting fact, uh, they are, you would think they're based in a Scandinavian country. Uh, their headquarters are in Warwick, just down the road from here. That's cool. Oh, cool. Um, so you can get your hands on this Series 3 Winter. Uh, this is get yourself 45 points in the festival playlist, and this truck can be yours. Tom's already going for it. He's already opening it. He's going. <laughs> I'm trying he's... to stream like that. <laughs> Door number 15. Uh, I'm just going to drop them now. Um, ooh, we've got the Jaguar XJ13. Oh, yes. Mm. I could talk about this one for a while. Um, <laughs> you be my guest, Chris. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite cars. Um, I think it is the, I, I personally think, obviously it's opinion, this is the most beautiful car I've made. Um, often it's thought that the Jag E-Type is that. Well, it's got the E-Type kind of front end on it. It was designed by the, the same person that did, uh, Malcolm Sawyer, that did the E-Type, C-Type and D-Type. It should have been the successor to the D-Type. It was gonna be a, a Le Mans race car. Uh, it was being kind of built early 60s, uh, intended for racing in 65, but financial reasons meant it didn't. And by the time it would, would have been ready for racing, it just wouldn't have been competitive. Um, the 7 litre GT40 had kind of shown up and started dominating. So it never raced. And then unfortunately in the 70s, to unveil the new Jaguar V12 that's being put in the E-Type, this car was actually the first car that, that had that engine. Um, they did a bit of a PR thing with it and it got crashed. Um, so the only example of it ever was written off um, and then found in a warehouse and restored. So like now, find. like a barn find, yeah. So now it is in this form, which is ever, ever slightly different to what it used to be. It's slightly wider to accommodate different tyres. Um, and it lives up uh, another local one. It lives just uh, up at Gaydon. Uh, if anyone wants to see it, the one of one uh, is up there. And just stunning, stunning car, this. And number 16. For number 16. We need, we need uh, a car that we can give away in autumn of series three for <laughs> 25 festival playlist points. Well, what I've have you got, got Tom? Perfect car for you. It's the uh, Donkavort D8 GTA. That is the perfect car. That's exactly <laughs> what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. So we're talking about uh, five cylinder Audis earlier. Well, the Donkavort, which is a kind of a, a small boutique kind of car company making these really nice, very fast cars. They use the Audi five cylinder. So it's got that same glorious uh, sound of the Audi TT uh, that was on earlier, um, but in this very lightweight kind of packaging. So it's a, a very, very quick car. Um, and I, I, I love the front end on it as well. It's very sci-fi looking. Yeah, it really is. I know you, you said that. Yeah, really cool dash as well. Yeah. It has like all kind of aerospacey vibes to it along with the, the sci-fi front end. Really cool car. 
OK, and that can be yours. Series 3, Autumn, 25 Festival Playlist points. The Donkvort D8 GTO is yours. Door number 17. So I thought the paper had gone then. <laughs> this time it's seri Series 3, Summer, 45 points in the playlist gets you. Uh, it gets you. You don't know it's not in there? Oh, no, it is in there. Okay. It's the Toy Toyota Celica SSI. So this is a car that's uh, not been in Forza for a while. I think Horizon 3 was the last time this was in the, the franchise. Um, it's, it's the faster version of the Celica, which was the last version of the Celica, Celica as well. Um, so it's front wheel drive, has a 1.8 litre inline four, um, really nice engine, kind of like a bit Honda VTEC-y with the way it revs, kind of hit a point and then it kicks in and, and carries on going. Um, so good that the Lotus actually used it in some of their cars. Um, and just looks great. Uh, great styling, really, uh, really holds up as well. It's a, what, what year is this car? Uh, there you go, 2003. 2003, and it honestly looks, it still looks really cool, really modern. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's really, really beautiful car. Yeah, and uh, I'm not a big fan of front wheel drive cars with wings, but this one definitely suits having a wing. Uh, like the way the, the silhouette of the car is with the wing on it, just, it's, it's just right. Fantastic. Shall we see what lies behind door number 18? 18 in and I've still not got a <laughs> satisfying way to open these and look at the content. <laughs> Maybe we should have practiced. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Ford Mustang Mach 1. Yes. So it's one for you, Mike. Here we go. Yeah, 1971 Mach 1. So this is, it is the first gen Mustang, but it's, it's after the facelift, which is why you have those uh, two vents on the bonnet instead of the one. Uh, and the Mach 1 is, is a trim level, so it's one of the uh, primo performance trims of the Mustangs to sit alongside the, the Shelbys. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome V8. Sounds absolutely amazing. Looks an absolute peach. Um, yes, yeah, so all, all these little trim parts, the, uh, obviously the Mach 1 styling, the, the wing and the, the trim on the side as well, uh, is all part of that um, Mach 1 package that you could have purchased back in 1971 when, you were, when these were still been a fresh car. Um, yeah, it looks, looks really good, I think. It's yeah. a really awesome car. One of the best sounding uh, Mustangs as well. I think uh, I always, whenever I look at the Mach 1, I always see a lot of Aston Martin in it. And I, not because they copied Aston Martin, but because Aston Martin through the 80s, I think, got a lot of inspiration from the Mustang and especially the Mark 1 as well. Mm. It's a very pretty car. So this is uh, Series 3, uh, total Series car, so you need 200 points in Series 3 uh, for the uh, Mustang Mach 1 so to be yours. So we've seen the uh, holidays decorations uh, for Series uh, 2 and in Series 3, uh, we celebrate different New Year's and different cultures. So this one has the Chinese lanterns all over Guanajuato. Um, there are other evolving world stuff that we've added in Series 3 as well. Uh, like, for example, we're going to have two new trailblazers that are going to only be available during Series 3. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, some uh, floating lanterns that uh, we're using as collectibles uh, that you can find in the desert and they only appear at night and look really beautiful. Um, doesn't it just look lovely now? Is it worth going to the desert to see these lanterns? Will they, will they appear? Uh, I don't think they will appear. Because we, we're using oh, debug. OK. Oh. And also, we don't want to spoil everything. don't want to spoil the fun. OK, OK, sorry. <laughs> Shall we I, open I the next door? Door. Uh, door number 19, 19 of oh, right. 24. What, what have we got, Tom? Oh, or Anna, go on. <laughs> bit better than that. Let's go. So here we have Jaguar Xcar RS GT. I think I pronounced this correctly. Here we go. Talk to us, Chris. So uh, Jaguar XK. Uh, it's another two-door uh, big engine GT car. Um, but Jaguar decided that a big, comfortable, fun, sideways-loving car uh, they make a track version of, which is something I'm a big fan of when companies take kind of the big, heavier cars in their lineup and make a track version, because uh, they end up being really fun, as is this one. So it's actually a very um, drivable car. It's not, not got the same characteristics as the base car. It's not as, not as slidey. So heavily revised suspension, tires, and aerodynamics. You can see the wing on the back, canards, and splitter on the front. Um, and it sounds absolutely incredible, this thing. Uh, recently, I actually got to see one and, and hear it, and it's 
incredibly loud and yeah, one of the best cars I've ever heard, this thing. And one of my, I, I genuinely, genuinely love it as well. I think it looks great. Cool, wow. Um, 25 points in spring, Series 3, and that is yours. Shall we, um, shall we carry on? Mm. Door number 20, come on, what 20. is it? I can't contain the excitement anymore, <laughs> show us the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vauxhall Lotus Carlton. Perfect. Yes! So as the name suggests, Vauxhall <laughs> Lotus Carlton, um, it's Vauxhall and Lotus that, that did this one. So on the outside, I'm going to park under a light, see if we can see it a bit better. On the outside, it very much looks like a, a Vauxhall Carlton. Um, visually, the, the main difference is, is really the wing and the front bumper. Um, underneath, however, this thing's an absolute monster. Um, so this... When it came out, which was 1990, had to check. <laughs> Don't want to get a year wrong. Um, it could do 177 mile an hour, which for a four-door saloon car was absolutely bonkers. Um, and for a very long time, it stayed the second fastest saloon car ever built. Uh, I think it was about a decade, a decade it stayed that. So powering it, I think, is a 3.6 litre twin turbo V6. And it's just, yeah, an absolute monster. Um, at one point, the UK police force contemplated using these um, because, let's face it, no one's going to outrun you if, if the police have one of these things. So, yeah, really cool car, this one. Yeah, really cool. has a real, like, sleeper car vibe, doesn't it? Just because it's like, it's a, a Vauxhall Carlton, which is a kind of regular family saloon yeah. car. <laughs> the will also do <laughs> over 170. Yeah. It's just, um, door number 21. <laughs> nearly, nearly at the end, only a few left. Uh, so this one is oh. a Jaguar XJ 2020. 220 S T W R. Here we go. Yes, look at it. Oh, it's so awesome. It's so such an awesome looking car. Yeah, I mean the the base XJ 220 is a, a phenomenal looking thing. Um, this this is we were talking about rare cars earlier with the Peel. This actually does beat the Peel. Um, there were six of these made. Um, there are that's that H word again as well. Homologation. Um, they so there's the XJ 220 C, which was the race car. They had to build a small number to homologate that. So this is the XG220S, and TWR stands for Tom Walkinshaw Racing, who um, worked with Jaguar loads through the 90s, building things like the, the Silk Cut Jag um, and things like that. Uh, so a lot of the Jaguar race cars were, were done by, by TWR, and, and this car was one of them. And it's incredibly fast. So nowadays, when you hear about a lightweight special, it's normally like 70 kilos is taken off the car. TWR got 400 kilos off the weight of an XG220. Oh, wow. Um, and not only carbon that... Carbon fiber everything. Carbon fiber everything, yeah. And not only that, they got the performance up by another 140 horsepower. So this is making nearly 700 horsepower, <laughs> which for the 90s was a bonkers figure as well. Um, yeah, incredibly cool car, this. So it's new to Forza. It's Car Pass. Yep, Car yep. Pass. Yeah, Series 3, week 2 in Car Pass. Um, awesome. Shall we, uh, shall we carry on? Should we open another door? What type of thing are you looking for in 22, Mike? Uh, I want something really, really fast, please. OK. Really fast. <clears throat> I think this one does it. Uh, it's a Ferrari FXXK EVA. That'll, that'll do. Yeah. Boom. Um, pretty much the fastest car in the game. Um, so you can't be thrown out. That's going to have the, that's gonna have the community absolutely like. Stock, um, stock, I should say, because okay. we all know upgrades. That's a different, different kettle of fish. Um, stock PI, nine nine eight. So it's it is right at the top. It was very, very close to being our first stock X class. Yeah. Um, so it's it is a Ferrari FX XK, um, but the Evo means there's been a load of rework done to it, mainly in the aerodynamics. So aerodynamically, it's up quite a large amount over the base car, which already had a lot of downforce. Um, anyone that's driven it in game will know how grippy it is. This thing. Even more so, uh, it's a very, very capable car. Um, engine, everything like that uh, is pretty much the same, but heavily reworked aero. And yeah, awesome. savagely, savagely uh, fast car, this. Same hybrid V12, so I think it's 1,035 horsepower from memory, which is a good number. <laughs> yeah. <right>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so again, brand new to Forza, and it's car pass, right? Yep. So series three, week three, Gets you the FXXK Evo. Oh, getting getting close door. to the end. The door. Close to the end now. 
<coughs> this is a long one. Uh, Toyota Land Cruiser Arctic Trucks AT37. It's the prequel. <laughs> <laughs> Origin story of the AT38. It's the AT37. <coughs> so yeah, like the Hilux we had earlier, um, it's the exact same treatment. So it's got those big tires, it's lifted, big, big wheel arches uh, on a Land Cruiser. Um, so it's designed for driving around on snow. Um, yeah, uh, but but it's a Land Cruiser, so you can take your family in it and uh, have a have a nice holiday in the snow. <laughs> Um, uh, or indeed, uh, you can t tear it up around the Horizon Festival. 45 points in Series 3 Autumn, and this is yours. Any, any other cool facts on this one, Chris? No, I don't, actually. Uh, Has it not got those boxes anymore? No, well, might, you can put them in the boot with this. Yeah. You don't have to put them <laughs> on the bed. <laughs> Has, it got the, Has it still got the uh, shovel so I can... So you yeah. can dig yourself out when yeah. you get a stock. Yeah, I'm, su I'm sure there's a shovel in there somewhere. Are we on to the final door? We're on to the final door. Oh my gosh. Um, this has been so much fun. So door number 24. Door number 24. It's the, uh, the Zenvo TS1. What? The Zenvo. Here we go. So that was Chris, go on. Yeah, so Zenvo, uh, I think a lot of players already know it from, obviously, in Horizon 4, we released the, the newer version of this with the, the very famous wing that tilts. Mm -hmm. So this is the original version of the car. Um, it's, I think Zenvo's first car as well. Um, very, very quick, cool looking. Uh, I love the front end on this car. Yeah, it looks amazing. Like it's so kind of looks like a concept car. Yeah, like it just looks like it wants to eat the road. <laughs> it does look like a face. Slight stormtrooper vibes. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of that like moulded shape, isn't it? Mm. Um, yeah, so cool. And 120 points across Series Three, and this car is yours. <laughs>